It's been four, nearly five years since I was here before, and coming back the second time has just made me want to come again. From the city to the scape of Lima is, is one thing, but then to go into the Amazon is another. Maravillosamente diverso y rico. This cuisine and this area, it is well known for being super diverse. One of the biggest forests in the world, but actually it is not valued in any of the main cities of the countries that share these territories. My favorite thing to do all over the world is, is to go to markets, and to go to Berlin markets is globally one of my favorites, I think. It's a really special place. My campo place. Chicken, meat, fish, vegetables, fruits, seeds, nuts, herbs, medicinal stuff, clothes, everything you could ever need. I just love the, the feeling of markets like these where, where a community comes together and this is the beating heart of, of Iquitos. It's fucking unbelievable. Estamos yendo a la comunidad de Pucaurquillo, más o menos entre 4 y 5 horas en rápido. This community is called uh, Pucaurquillo, and there are two etnias that live here, Boras and Huitotos. We've uh, been shown all of the process of the yuca brava or poisonous yuca. El proceso empieza rayando la yuca, enjuagándola para recolectar el agua y sacar el almidón. Luego, al día siguiente, el almidón se separa del agua y esa agua se cocina para hacer el ají negro. Con el almidón se hace el cazabe y la caguana. Antes de que se convierta en ají negro, esa agua se conoce como tucupí a nivel sudamericano, pero en Bora se conoce como pehuepa y también se utiliza para cocinar. Taking a, a toxic vegetable, really, and making it edible, which is for me super interesting. But like to make so many products out of it, they're making drinks, they're making tapioca, they're making starch, they make bread, they're making flour. Somos anfitriones por naturaleza, nos encanta agasajar a las personas que nos visitan y eso lo hemos demostrado en este viaje. Qué beautiful people, one of the most loving, open and friendly cultures that I've come across. I felt just as home in the Peruvian jungle as I do at home in, in an indigenous community. You can't say that for everyone. I think that to understand the cuisine and start the ingredients, you need to know the people. They are the ones that have all the knowledge, that are the key and the most important for the future of our cuisine, of South American cuisine. No? I think we have a duty to sustain culture, um, but it's, it's also going to be interesting to see how people in Lima will react to it. Natural and delicious. It is food at its simplest, most natural form. Most of the best chefs around the world, they minimalize everything down to a point where it's just delicious. Those guys have been doing that for thousands of years. Incorporar la cocina amazónica a la gastronomía de Sudamérica es importantísimo. 
mi objetivo ahorita es trabajar con estas comunidades y hacer que estas comunidades sean por sí solas sostenibles. ¿no? Ese es el, el objetivo.